experience. Now I'm going to help you clean out your saxophone today. These are things you should do every time you play your saxophone. Make sure that it doesn't get dirty. Because when it gets dirty and wet, it's when pads start to breaking and other bad things start to happen. So, this is what you should do after every time you play the saxophone. I'm just going to put it together real quick. So we can talk about it as we disassemble the saxophone. So you want to take your reed off every time. I don't have a reed on right now. But if I had just played the saxophone, there would have been a reed. And I'd take it off and put it in its protective case. It needs to be in this case every time you put it away. I also like to dry off the moisture from the reed, like this, just with the flat side of my hand. And be careful, you don't want to break it, so that the reed is nice and dry when you put it away. If it's wet, it starts to warp. So then, as we put it away, first you want to take off the mouthpiece. And to clean the mouthpiece, you want to take a cloth. I like to use the same cloth that I use as a swab. So this is my swan. And you just take the cloth, kind of rub the inside of the mouthpiece to get all the moisture out. So you want to do it on this side of the mouthpiece, as well as from this side, maybe with your little ring finger. Just kind of take all the moisture you can out. And then put the mouthpiece away. Then you want to take the neck off. And with the swab, you want to put it through the neck, starting on the big side, the big side of the neck first. And just feed it through. And now don't pull this one all the way through. Just pull it until it's nice and comfortable. And then pull it straight back out the way you came in. If you pull it all the way through, you might break the neck or the swab. And then with whatever moisture is left, just kind of shake it like this until all the moisture is out. And then you can put the neck away. And then we have our body, the saxophone. You want to feed the swab through the bottom of the bell right here and get as much string as you can in the bell to begin with. And then make sure that heavy weighted part comes around the end so that it falls out the bottom. And then when it comes out the bottom, or the top I guess, when it comes out the top then you just pull gently through. And this time you do want to let the entire swab come through all of the saxophone so that it's all nice and dry. You don't want anything to be wet in there. When anything is wet on the saxophone, it kind of ruins the pads, and then you have to pay a lot of money to get it fixed. So we want to avoid doing that as much as possible. And I like to do this a couple times, like three or probably probably about two or three times. We'll do it twice. So make sure we get all the water out. Again, feed it through until you see it come out the bottom. I use one of these, it kind of takes the rest of the moisture out that you miss with the swab, which is nice. And then you can put that away. And then something I like to do when I first get a saxophone is to wet or is to grease the cork every time I'm putting it away. So you just want to take a little bit of grease, very, very little, and kind of rub it on the top of the saxophone, on the cork of the neck. And just gently kind of Put it on like chapstick. And then put the cap back on the cork grease. And then you just rub it in until you can't see any white grease anymore. It just needs to be totally clear. And that way you won't have problems putting your mouthpiece on every time you do this. So then you can put your neck away. Put it back in your saxophone case. You need to make sure you guys do or you clean this every time. 
if you let it go once, your pad will be, you could be ruined. So that is how to clean your sacks.